So it finally arrived. This little battery pack came all the way from China. Welcome to part two of my video all about building the Plinky Plus from the DIY kit. Today we're going to install a rechargeable lithium ion battery into the Plinky Plus so that we can play without using any power cables. If you're anything like me, your synth desk is really full and the mess of cables can get pretty intense, so any cable less that we have to deal with is always welcome. If you're planning on building the Plinky Plus from the DIY kit, make sure you check out my full build video where I go through the entire product process from start to finish. The only thing missing from that video is the installation of the battery pack, so come back here when you're ready for that step. Now before we get started, I want to make it abundantly clear that I am not, not an, electrical an electrical engineer. engineer. I am a total beginner at all of this DIY electronic stuff, so please make sure you read the full build guide on the Plinky homepage before installing your battery pack. If you're not sure about something, head on over to the Plinky Discord where you can ask questions about your build and get answers from people who know a lot more about this stuff than I do. Let's start by talking about the battery. This is the one I ordered from AliExpress, and it was one that is listed in the build guide on the Plinky homepage as tested and working. Make sure you look carefully at those specs before ordering a battery for yourself to make sure you order the right one. I was pretty disappointed that I had to order this battery all the way from China. I did a lot of searching to find another source within the EU, but I just couldn't find anything. I know Making Sound Machines also did an extensive search and also ordered their battery packs from AliExpress. If you're in the US, I understand that Adafruit is selling a battery pack that would work. Just make sure you double check those specs before ordering a battery so you know that you're getting the right one. So first things first, safety. I don't want to get zapped and I don't want to fry my Plinky Plus. So as mentioned multiple times in the build guide, we need to make sure that the Plinky Plus is powered off and that all cables are removed. So as the build guide recommends, I'm going to start with the Plinky Plus plugged in and turned on so that I can be absolutely sure that the power button is in its off position when we get started installing the battery. So power is off. We're good and I'm going to remove the cable. Okay, the next step for safety is to find out the polarity of your battery pack. Actually, you could even do this before you start. It should be listed in the documentation that comes with your battery pack. Mine did not come with any documentation at all, and there is no indication of the polarity on the item description on AliExpress, but Making Sound Machines lists the polarity for this brand of battery in the build guide. Just to be sure, I tested this with my multimeter just to make sure, and indeed, the red side is positive and the black side is negative. I think it's worth mentioning that the color coding for the polarity of these battery packs is the opposite of the Eurorack standard. For those of you with a rack, you'll know that the red side of the ribbon cable is the negative 12 volt side, but on these battery packs, red is positive and black is negative. Please don't take my word for it. Double and triple check that you know the polarity of your battery pack before plugging it in and powering up your Plinky Plus. Okay, now that we're sure the power button is in its off position and we're confident that we know the polarity of our battery, we can remove the front panel. If you're joining this from the DIY build video just for this step, your front panel will already be off. So if you're installing this battery after already building the Plinky Plus from the DIY kit, remember to be careful when taking off this front panel because there are some header pins here that are plugged into that front panel and we just want to be very careful removing that. Okay, so my front panel is off and I can see right here where the battery connects. I can also see the polarity indicated on the PCB. I have not touched the power button, so I am certain it is still in the off position. And here we go. Red is positive, black is negative. I'm gonna get the battery in its position here. Positive is here on the right side. So here we go.
Whew, okay, no sparks, no magic smoke. I think we're good. So now I'm gonna take the battery cover that comes with your kit and I'm gonna install it right on top with those four extra screws that I had left over from my Plinky kit. So you might be wondering, as I was, what this extra little bit here is that comes with the DIY kit. I did assume correctly that this had to do with the battery. Um, it has to do with the connector. If you have a battery that doesn't have the right size connector, this is an adapter that will help you connect anyway. Um, I think it's best, like I did, is just get one with the right connector right off the bat so you don't have to deal with any extra bits. Okay, now comes the moment of truth. Before I reattach the front panel, I'm going to test it by turning on the power. And here we go, it's powering up like normal. This is great. All right, I'm gonna turn this off so I can reattach the front panel. So I think it's important to note that the screen does not actually tell you how much juice is in your battery pack. It's not like on your phone where you can see how charged the battery is, but there's a little transparent window here um, where it says USB and that port will glow red while it's charging and blue when it's full. So you at least do get that information. In the official build guide on the Plinky homepage, they list a formula for calculating the charge time. I got the 16,000 micro ohm pack. So according to this formula, it should take 20 hours to completely charge this battery pack. Definitely do the math for your own battery so you don't overcharge your battery pack. And that's it. I'm really excited to use the Plinky Plus without a power cable. In fact, I've got a performance coming up in a couple weeks where I'm using the Plinky Plus as my main sound source and I'm excited to test drive this battery pack. I hope you had fun doing this build and thanks for watching. If you enjoy these tutorials and jams that I've been posting, I would encourage you to check out my Bandcamp or Ampwall page. All of the music I've released there is Name Your Price, so if you like what you hear, any contribution is welcome. See you next time.